updates for Power BI, updates for reporting services and analysis services. That's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, so we're going to do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. And this week's a special week because we are in the middle of SQL Pass. And with Pass, there were a lot of announcements that came out, so I want to go and touch on what we've got. First up on the list is the weekly update for Power BI. And in there, we had a couple items. First was the ability to share dashboards with security groups. That's been a highly asked for item. There's also a people picker available. So as you type the email address, it will give you hints of who's actually available for those. And also the ability to collapse the navigation pane by way of a URL parameter. So that's nice if you're trying to embed or do some things where you don't necessarily want that in place. Next up on the list is an update for the personal gateway. If you have not updated to the latest version, please do so. You're going to run into potential refresh issues if you don't have that up to date to match what's going on within Power BI Desktop. As part of that, as part of that, we're actually now syncing the M engine, which is what we use under the hoods for our data sources, between the personal gateway and Power BI Desktop to avoid potential refresh issues that you may have encountered in the past. So if you are encountering issues during refresh, be sure to make sure that that's the latest version. Next up on the list is a combo for some announcements that happened today at PASS, and that is around CTP3. Within reporting services, one of the items we highlighted is the fact that you can now pin items from your reporting services report to a Power BI dashboard. For analysis services, we had a bunch of updates in there. Talked about some updates regarding direct query and the fact that you can now use MDX against direct query for tabular. That'll help you out in Excel and other items. Also, we now support for direct query to other types of data sources, such as Oracle, Teradata, and APS. And also, we highlighted the fact that SQL Server Data Tools, or SSDT, has also been updated for reporting services and analysis services. So go check that out. Next up on my list is a community item from Frederick Nalstad, and he talks about the ability to go from an email to Power BI. And in this, he talks about the emails that you can get from SCOM and how you can use Power Query to pull all of that into your data model and then report on top of it to find out what's going on. It's an interesting way to visualize based off of data that you have. In this case, the data source is actually an email, so that's pretty cool. Last up on my list for today is I just want to talk about some of the updates I saw on Twitter related to some of the announcements that we have here at PASS. So let me go ahead and read off a few of these. Tim Mitchell mentioned that by the end of the year, you'll be able to use Power BI Desktop against your on-prem multidimensional analysis services databases. A lot of people have been asking for that. Currently, you can only do it against the tabular model. So the fact that you'll be able to do that with multidimensional is awesome. Jen Underwood indicated that you can now pin a report as a dashboard tile, and it includes interactive filtering support. So if you haven't tried that out, it's available in the service today. Go play around with some of the interactivity you can have in a dashboard. Chris Webb threw out that Power BI and DataZen will be a single app by the end of the year. No more data Zen server. It's going to be part of reporting services. All right, that's all I've got for this week. I'd love to hear your comments. Go ahead and leave those down below. And let me know what you thought. If you're at Pass, tell me what you're liking about what you're seeing. As always, I've got links to all the items I've talked about in the description below. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday, I do an information roundup just like this. Every Tuesday, I look at a technical item where I either look at how something works or how to troubleshoot something or really just look at a new feature. And really, this is about you. I want to help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.